Okay, so what uh, I'm going to do here is uh, do a simple extraction, a color match, and placing it into a monochrome background. So here we go. First thing that we do is uh, duplicate the background layer and then place another layer in between them where we put a neutral background color. Then we select the top layer, get the polygon lasso, and start uh, just making a simple outline around it. Uh, I find that uh, in many cases with, with, with a lot of different pictures this helps get the uh, background out uh, because you're um, basically eliminating everything along the borders. So uh, here we add a layer mask and presto we're into the background color. Come get uh, the polygon lasso tool Zoom in a little bit and start doing the detail work. As you can see, this uh, flower has got uh, uh, some blurry edges on it, uh, especially on this far side. Uh, for a lot of things, um, this picture wouldn't even work, but for the, what we're doing here, it'll be good enough. And you come up here and you take your selection tool and you come all the way around, close the selection, and hit um, Alt Backspace. Come over here and start again. And as you're uh, going through this on these blurry edges, you stay as close into the flower as what you can get and uh, staying away from the background color where that green blends into it. Coming around to the end. Make our final selection and mask it out. Okay, and then the next thing that we do is I like to save all of my work, so basically what we're going to do is copy this layer and apply the layer mask. And now we have a new working layer and all of my work is saved. Now what we're going to do is uh, create another uh, background layer and fill it with white. And the only reason to do this is because white is, you know, a good color for if you're going to be changing your, um, the color on your picture, which is what we're about to do. We go into uh, a new adjustment layer, hue saturation, and we uh, desaturate it. Whoops, not quite that much. Put some back. Then we adjust the color, and right about there someplace. Good enough. And now we're ready to put it into the picture. Grab both of those layers and just slide them over there. Now it's really big. So we're going to resize it. Place it where it looks like it would be best in the light. And then we're going to grab this layer that is the flower, duplicate it, and on the back layer, we're going to select it and fill it with black. Then we're going to blur the back layer. Not that much. Just about there. That looks good. And then with the um, uh, cursors on the keyboard, you just tap the shadow into place. And there you have it. 